Today, a new warning for families without gas in the Merrimack Valley. Officials say anyone in the area should be very careful when using the hot plates that were handed out. WBZ's Anna Myler has more now from Andover. A family in the affected area of Andover had a big scare while cooking with a hot plate handed out by Columbia Gas. Now fire officials are hoping people will practice important safety tips while using this appliance. The, the pan just caught on fire. The fire was like up to here. And I just heard my mom screaming. Dino Papadopoulos called 911 right away when his mom's pan caught fire while cooking on their new hot plate. Like the, the fire was like going up to like the cabinets because like most of it's wood. Mm -hmm. The family has been without gas service since the fires and explosions across the Merrimack Valley earlier this month. They've been relying on friends to get by. Like I had to pack clothes every night, go to their house, take showers, and, and like we go to their house to cook too. Mm -hmm. More than a thousand hot plates have been handed out to impacted Andover residents so they can cook at home again. But fire officials say these electric cooking surfaces stay hotter for longer and grease fires can happen if oil overheats. That the hot plate did not malfunction, it was actually um, the fact that the resident allowed the oil on in the pan on top of the hot plate to become overheated. No one was hurt and there was only minor smoke damage inside the home. Fire chief is urging everyone to pay close attention to these safety tips. We want to make sure that there is a lid uh, close by to the pan so that you can utilize the lid to put on top of the pan to, to extinguish the fire. And also make sure that there's no clutter around the, uh, the hot plate itself. So. Another concern for residents is keeping their homes warm when the weather turns cooler. Starting today, people in Andover and North Andover can start scheduling electrical assessments to make sure their home is a safe place for a space heater. Anna Myler, WBZ News.